Hello and welcome to the freaking awesome podcast. I am John and by it is Monday, May 13th, 2019. Uh, today we have a special episode again. Like last week we had uh, Endgame. So last week we had the original uh, crew to celebrate Endgame. This time we have a old uh, co-host, I guess you could say that you you were here last time. I think Harry Potter. Yeah. Uh, wait, you're not talking. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Uh, Sorry. Uh, but yeah, uh, I want to wait. welcome David Cox to the podcast. Hello. Hey, hello. Welcome. And then joining me is Sean Ang, right? And hello. then of course Audrey. Hi. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. not purposely just saying that yeah. because you're. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you are new to the podcast, we usually discuss and uh, the stuff that we watch, play, listen, and read throughout the week. And we start the podcast with a trailer talk and we end it with a main discussion. This week's main discussion is Pokemon Detective Pikachu. I have to rem- remember is, it says is Pokemon. It, is it Pokemon Detective Pikachu? Yeah, yes, the, the whole they made title. sure to get that name in there. <laughs> so I'm assuming this is they're building the Pokemon cinematic universe, like <gasps> how the, the Marvel. PC. You. Ooh. Like, no, <laughs> the, the drug. The PCU. The Pikachu. Yep. Well, this is the mo- first movie that is distributed by uh, Legendary Pictures. So it's kind of a different universe mm-hmm. yeah yeah uh before we dive into the trailer talk how are you guys Good. we'll all see sean and david I haven't talked to david in a long time yeah man since <laughs> since what what harry potter was that it was one of the movies i feel like it was the last was like, it even the last probably one? I, I don't even know it, <laughs> So long ago, uh, I I should have looked that up on our, our <laughs> yeah, feed. That would have been pertinent information. Uh, uh, how's Harry Potter? Tra- <laughs> I guess I don't know. <laughs> Do you like the new movies? <laughs> I haven't actually seen any. Oh of really? The, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, it took I'm, us a while to watch the Beast. We were. Yeah. We didn't see the first one in theaters, and then we wanted to see the second one in theaters, and then it just didn't happen. So we waited for Redbox. Yeah. But, but then we were in that. Good. But we weren't really I that like thrilled. Okay. I wasn't thrilled the second one <laughs> because That's what uh, I, heard. I don't. Like the twists they do in that first one. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys know the twists about that. Yeah, spoiler. I ended up seeing the first one on a plane okay. from Germany. Oh, yeah. 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 I like the guy, the guy who's playing, what's his name? I don't even know. Newt's the, Newt, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's my Eddie favorite. Eddie Redmayne. Mm-hmm. And then. Uh, it's like there's an autistic character as a main guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then. They pander to that. The, the psychic, or I don't know what she is, the one who can read thoughts. Oh, the lady? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I just like her lady. character, her the way she t- speaks and everything. Right. Oh, yeah. How about you, Audrey? How are you? Cool. How is you? I'm okay. <laughs> I'm Today's great... Mother's Day, so I want to say is Happy it? Mother's oh, Day. Hi. Yeah, hey. we're actually going to celebrate Mother's Day right live on the podcast right now. <laughs> <laughs> happy Mother's Woo! Day, Audrey. Yeah. 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 And to all, the, all our other mothers, Happy yeah. Mother's Day to my mother. Your mother from another mother. You guys want to yeah. say Happy Mother's Day to your mother? Happy birthday, mom. Oh, it's her birthday. No. Oh, wait. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was her birthday. When was? Yeah, it was. Pretty recently, yeah. Okay. Well, your mom's birthday is next week. Too, yeah, next right? week. So. Yeah. Yeah. How about your birthday for your mom? <laughs> <laughs> well, our mom. Audrey oh yeah, yeah our mom. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> in canon of the show, Audrey and David are related. <laughs> so yes. Only in canon. Only, I think in, only canon. in the show. Yes, not in real life. In the show. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Not in real life. They play. I think this is the first time you guys Strangers. are on an episode because I had Together. you separately. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know who was with me at the time. Oh gosh, I think it was Seer and. Oh, okay. Uh, one other person, I forget. Okay. Because I rem- remember our kids were small, so Audrey yep. couldn't do it. And then I think you weren't even interested. Uh, Audrey wasn't interested at the time to do any podcast. Mm-hmm. And in this last two years, we've done like eight, now we do date <laughs> eight, eight videos <laughs> date of date night. night. I don't know if you guys watch those. <laughs> uh, they're YouTube videos uh, in which when the kids are asleep, uh, we play video games for like an hour. Yeah. And they're Cute. mostly like indie mm-hmm. games and stuff like that. Fun. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Right on. Uh, let's move on then. To the trailer talk of this week. Uh, this week's trailer is It Chapter 2. It's me and the Losers Club has officially begun. We can do this, but we have to stick together. Hello. <laughs> that was a clip from the trailer. Uh, so, it chapter two is directed by Andy Machuni. I'm so I'm terrible 
say <laughs> names on this <laughs> uh, podcast. Uh, written by Gary Dumber, and it's based on the Stephen King novel by the same name. It. Uh, so I'm just going to name off the grown-up actors. So yeah. all the original kid actors are coming back, I believe. Mm-hmm. And uh, the ones who are playing the grown-up versions are James of McCoy. McAvoy. McAvoy. McCoy. 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 <laughs> McCoy. <laughs> James McCoy. That's a different, that's a different is, uh, character. Yeah. Right. Uh, McAvoy. Jessica Chastine. Jay Ryan. Bill Hader. Isa Mustafa. James R- Ranson. Andy Bean. And Teach Grant. So, uh, and, uh, yeah, and I forgot the main star, who's the one who's playing Pennywise, is uh, Bill Skarsgård. Mm-hmm. Am I saying that right? Yeah. So, so the movie takes place, I believe, 27 years after of It 1, Chapter mm-hmm. 1. Right. And they are grown up, and in a mysterious phone call, if you watch the original movie, and I don't, I don't know if the books have it, the, the reason they return back to Derry. Uh, mm-hmm. Everyone knows it's it <laughs> again. The the monster came back. Uh, let's start with you, Aji. What's your relationship with the movie? My and relationship, the book? my personal yeah, relationship. Stephen King. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right, currently, we've been doing like a Stephen King thing in the last three or four months because we've been discussing the what was that Pet Cemetery in the past yeah, and Pet stuff Cemetery, like that. Yeah. I haven't read this book. It's so big. I read The Shining. That was big. I have to step into little big books, <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> I really enjoy the original. I've, I'm really excited to see this one. Um, I like you, you didn't play the extended trailer. That was good because that was so. Fun. Yeah, yeah. So uh, in the trailer, it's Jessica Ch- Chastine. If you guys haven't listened to it, uh, the listeners uh, talking to a older woman, a grandmother. And it's not. It's like a weird clip because they don't usually do this in horror movies where they actually show like a whole clip of a movie <laughs> like right. that and then they go into the actual like a teaser type trailer in the in the thing but yeah Car- carry on thank you <laughs> continue carry on. carry on carry on um i don't remember oh god what was it um so is this they're in the 80s right in the new version of they were in the 80s so now it's the ni- the 2000s it's 2019 it's 2019. 27 and i forgot what year is it in the 80s in the last one. Oh, okay i'm really excited to see bill Hader though Oh, yes, yes. yes. So he's one of my favorite mm-hmm. uh, actors, comedic uh, actors, overall actor. Do we know if it's going to be as long? I don't know. Like it's a four-hour movie, another <laughs> four-hour <laughs> movie. I got to right. sit through. <laughs> but was it chapter one long? Did you feel it was long? Yeah. Oh, I, I enjoyed it. All movies are long now. Yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> well, Pick- they're relatively around like two, three hours. Yeah, that's the average. Yeah. It's horrible now. <laughs> I can't say that. My butt hurts. <laughs> and now, like, was it? We went yesterday to a movie theater we haven't gone to in a long time, and it does not have nice seats. No, no. And it's very horrible not and to And then sit I nice think seat. you, I was like, as telling you, like, we can either go to Regal, that's the one we went to, or uh, Cinemark. Mm-hmm. Cinemark has the better seats, and then uh, Regal has terrible seats. And then we decide that one be closer, but I know you were like, Oh, we're still wasting gas if we went to the other one because farther, but... Well, you said the Cinemark's cheaper, and I was like... It is cheaper. cheaper? Well, it's cheaper and nicer. (laughs) (laughs) That's true. But I'm really excited for the movie. Um, I really enjoyed uh, the original version with Tim Curry. I really enjoy um, Bill Skarsgård's take on it. Mm -hmm. Um, I love the way he uh, interacts with the children. It brings you back to a very scary, scary place. But I really... um, like we said, this about the first one. How it was, it's actually very empower moving for ch- an empowering movie for children to stand up to things and to speak about things. Um, so I don't know now that they're uh, adults. I don't know how it's going to be um, portrayed. I think the same gonna, message almost. Like even if you're adult. So even like something bad happened to you before and you didn't say anything before, it's still okay to bring somebody to justice. Yeah, 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 yes, yeah. To yeah. say hey, hey, man. Cool. Stop it. Do you like the imagery imagery they showed in the trailer? Of which one? Of the like the little flashes of all them adult like they do the, the that cool scene where they're like looking in the mirror or window and they oh, see and they them see like the do that yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah. And there's a scene where I guess Pennywise is tearing off his face. I don't know what yeah. is that. Yeah. Well, I don't know if because in the on the original one they throw like the We're talking about the original movie. Okay. No no I'm saying in the the, the Tim Part, Curry. Oh yeah, the original yeah. Yeah, that's they what um was it silver? I think they had silver bullets. Yep. And that's when it usually like melts his face. So I don't know ah. if that's part of it. That's happened already. Because a lot of the scenes in the trailer, I don't recognize from the original movie. So it's kind of cool that they're doing mm-hmm. like that old woman scene. They don't have that in the original movie. Yes, I don't they know. Do. They do? Yes. In the old, the old yes. woman? Yes. Oh, I don't she remember goes that. To, she goes to the house and she talks. 
she goes to she goes to her old house she thinks it's a nice house when uh she talks to the lady the lady ends up being pennywise oh, okay she comes out and the 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 old house is abandoned oh okay it, yeah um, i remember he, his, yeah. his little magics whatever mm-hmm. powers and, and they yeah, also have that diner scene in the diner? oh the, the teaser scene. yeah they show it like oh the loser that. club's back yeah. right or something yeah. like that in the trailer so we see those lobsters come out of the little uh what is it the <laughs> fortune cookies yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that'd be cool uh, David, you were telling us before yeah. the podcast what's your <laughs> that relationship? It was all my fault, apparently. Yeah, <laughs> your relationship to this movie. <laughs> well, Sean presented it as your fault, but I mean, like uh, the Put first the, blame on him, you said. the only time <laughs> I watched this movie was way back in the day. This was like I don't know years ago, mm-hmm. and. Uh, I was probably like five or six at the time. And really that young? Wow. I, I feel well, I guess you were. You're six years younger than me, so. Right. When I'm doing stuff, I'm like, here, come on. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm <laughs> watching movies that you put on well, TV. Well, Mom and Diane and had those. It was, I remember it because yeah. it was a big, it was two VHS set. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And so you guys choose to watch this. It's not like your mom was watching it and then you guys were no, watching ma- it. No, mom was gone a lot. Yeah. She worked. Dan was either there or not. So we did watch. Like, that's what they always did. They always had VHS always. in the house. And we, we, the ones that we liked, we'd always just watch them over and over. Yeah. And over yeah. Again. That's what we did too a lot. But for me, it's the TV's on and we watch Fox and then there's a movie <laughs> on there. Right? We didn't really have cable, I don't think, yeah. until like towards later. Maybe you were in high school. Probably, even. yeah. Uh, the pizza boxes didn't show up until like. Maybe a, maybe around middle school for me. Maybe. Yeah. I have no idea what you <laughs> You know the cable boxes oh. that are just like huge? I thought you said pizza box. He I did. was like, oh, it is? Okay. The, the I was like, is this a thing that I don't know about yeah. pizza box that you guys are talking about? <laughs> the secret no. pizza box. We started eating right. pizza after this. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, yeah, you showed me that movie and I had nightmares for a little bit. <laughs> it was fine. <laughs> were you scared of clowns after that or uh, werewolves or anything i just i just remember just like just dark imagery and like the clowns and stuff it was like uh, uh, like i have a thing with just like body dysmorphia and stuff and it sucks too because like you made like you didn't make me watch the movie but like mom makes me watch movies too where it's just like Did horror she make movies you watch that one? <laughs> she didn't make me watch that one but like Nowadays, she's into the whole like horror movie gore and all that stuff too, and I'm just like, why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> That's because I think we tell her about it, and so she goes home and watches it. <laughs> yeah, she does. And, uh. Well, she and was always into sci-fi. We always had those sort of mm-hmm. things in the house, and yeah. so I think, uh, which is great. What, it was a sci-fi thriller. Is that a thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah, a, a thriller. You mix up the genres. I mean, Alien, um, mm-hmm. uh, Predator. Predator. All that. Yeah. yeah, I remember watching Event Horizon at home. I think with her, mm-hmm. <laughs> that was cool. That's pretty deep. So are you going to watch this, David? <laughs> <laughs> Did you watch the remake? We should watch the first one, one together. Uh, I haven't watched the remake yet. We could. Um, I'm going to look towards Sean because he has a thing with horror movies. I don't <laughs> love all of them, but I do have a deep love of like Stephen King books. Really? And, have yeah. you read It? Uh, the book It? it? <laughs> I have not read It, but I've read a bunch of the other ones. Uh-huh. And I think, yeah, just like that whole subgenre of like really well-written story-driven kind of horror thriller stuff is Mm -hmm. good and yeah like my one concern about the trailer like audrey was talking about was like what works so great about the first part of the kids is right it's like it feels nostalgic but you're also put in the context of the kids and Mm -hmm. it's the importance of like standing up for things yeah so what is it trying to say with like you thought you dealt with your childhood traumas, but they're back to get yeah. you and you have to, co- and like you feel tied to come back and try to deal with them. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot to say, like your old childhood fears, you have a different perspective on them. Like as you grow older, and but you still, still sca- face them. <laughs> yeah. But you're still scared. Right. Yeah, most of them don't like, can't literally kill you. Right. I mean, some probably could, so. but not in a mm-hmm. uh, paranormal type yeah. of way. But this one looks like it might. <laughs> this yeah. one might eat you. Yeah. Are you guys excited for like certain actors? Because I'm excited for Bill Hader. Oh yeah, especially Definitely. played that character Richie, and Richie was really funny too in the original mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. And uh, just can't wait how he will show his com- right. comedic. He's performance. such a good character actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm concerned that. about James McAvoy with the voice that he chose. Right. When in the original, not in the not even in the original, but in the the version of this one, and even before, he's very. Um, 
was it a speech impediment or stuttered yeah, yeah. and his voice didn't i mean of course he was a kid voice his voice is not going to sound like that but he yeah. sounds very gr- gr- grungy gr- gravelly i don't know if that's just james mcavoy's american uh, accent <laughs> right like, but it, seemed, it, it didn't it. seem to match with what how um sensitive that character was and right. now he's all like hardened and if it just if it's staying the same he's supposed to be a writer too mm-hmm. so i don't know mm-hmm. if, i don't know that just seems would be interesting I mean, I always like Jessica Chastain. She's like your like standard prestige actress, and you're mm. always like, yeah, she knows what she's doing. Her character, I forgot the character's name. I always imagine Amy Adams. Yep. Oh and then, yeah. Um, yeah. I was. I mean, they're both good actors, so I was like, okay, they're. But I always thought Amy Adams looked more like her as a adult versus. Oh, Jessie. the young girl. Yeah, the young girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't even know her name, but. I should have looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> Redhead. Redhead. Yeah. You need production assistance to do the research. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, any more thoughts? Huh? Uh, what did you good. think? Did you say what you thought? No, not yet. <laughs> so back I, to you. this is one of my... Uh, so the trailer I really like only because they do the thing... They don't do the typical horror thing where uh, it's all like this weird mood-ish type trailer. Mm-hmm. They, this trailer is like in your face with that song, that... That thing. And then you hear pennywise little laugh and i like that because that's like a iconic thing and then yep. the very ending so my prediction in this movie he is going to like terrorize other kids but I, my like thing i want be all similar to like the first one where they stand up i want other kids to stand up against pennywise i want to sh- show like they're not the only ones that can stand up like other people we don't even see in the movie and there's a scene in the trailer with the little girl and i hope they actually have another group of kids that we're not, you know, com- comes out of nowhere, but they're not scared anymore, right? Mm-hmm. We're like, we're facing Pen- Pennywise. All these kids will face him now. We're not, you know, we, we do need these adults a little bit, but mm-hmm. uh, we're here to, you know, s- conquer our fear forever, or finally, basically. And yeah. yeah, I also like the very ending where he does, I don't know what is that, that, that light that, that we missed in the first one, right? The dead lights? The dead lights. They don't show that in the re- uh, remake movie uh, mm-hmm. at all, right? Yeah, they do. Oh, and, and, and towards the end, mouth. the sewer. Yeah. No, but in the sewer, they do tow it. But they don't show it like that, where it's like a little hand gesture. Oh, where and he then, can like physically manipulate yeah, it. Yeah, and then something. you see a little girl go over there, and he does that little like, what, what did he say? Like, hello, right? Yeah. But he does it like in the weird poo voice, like, hello, like that, and then mm. that's it. Mm-hmm. And then you see his face. But I really like the Poo's trailer. scary, too. He got no pants on. Who? Poo. Oh, okay. You that heard is what like, you guys. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what are you? I mean, yeah, I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, about the, the the clown or something? Uh, so yeah, those are our thoughts of the trailer. Let's move on then to the main discussion. Uh, Pokemon. Pik- Mont- what? Wait, what? Pokemon. Pokemon Detective Pikachu. I don't know anything. Mm-hmm. Should we just maybe just sing the first song that pops in your head. I want to be the very best Like no one ever was To catch them is my real test Papa, uh, train them is my car Is that the first song that pops in your head? It's <laughs> quirky I will travel across the land Searching far and wide Each Pokemon to understand The power that's inside Pokemon, gotta catch them, it's you and me I know it's my destiny Pokemon, oh, you're my best friend In a world we must defend Gotta catch them, our heart's so true Your courage will pull us through You teach me, I'll teach you Okay, so that was not a clip from the movie Pokemon like, Detective Pikachu. That? Yeah. So it's from a movie called Paper Town. So the movie mm-hmm. stars the main actor of the movie, Just Justice Smith. So before he made Pikachu or the, this movie, he was also a in this movie, singing that song. That's why. Oh, it's a little, oh, oh, wait. Right. That was the John Green adaptation, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Based oh, on the book, he was yeah, the blind boy, yeah. kid. I don't know. Yeah. If, I, I, I've, I've never watched it, so I only saw the clip. Yeah. But yeah, it is that uh, based yeah. on that book. Yeah. Romance, teen. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, he is in there. And then I guess he is a fan of Pokemon, like mm-hmm. growing up. So that was kind of cool that. He went from this movie to this one. So I was like, oh, that's, that's a pretty great thing. Yeah. yeah. I was about to say, they were rushing that song a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, Excuse a, it's a me. different type of version of the song because they interlude their other voices. And when they were saying, like, Pokemon, gotta catch them. I don't know. Yeah. In the, yeah. Uh, so 
if you guys don't never watch Pokemon <laughs> or the the uh, oh, you, or, are you, you can break it down. Not break it down, break but it down. the story Let's is see. very different from like I'm used to from the cartoon. This one takes place in Rhyme City, and it's about uh, Justice Smith character. I think Tim Goodman, right? Yes, mm-hmm. and he's trying to find his dad, and while finding his dad, he meets Detective Pikachu. I don't think he has like an actual name. They never they just call him Pikachu, right? I think mm-hmm. all the Pokemon are just their names, yeah. right? Yep. Yes. Yep. Yeah. And the movie is directed by Rob Letterman. He is known for directing the recent Goosebumps movie and uh, Shark's Tale. And the oh. movie stars Justice Smith, Kat- Catherine Newton, Bill Nye. Am I saying his name right? Is that how you say it? Yeah, I'm pretty that? sure it's how you say it's it. You say this it. name, I might mess up. Ken Watabe. Watanabe. Watanabe. And this one, I, I always have a hard time saying. R- Ryan Ray- Ryan's Ray- Ray- Reynolds <laughs> Ray- <laughs> Ryan Reynolds Ray- as Ray- uh, Pikachu basically mm-hmm. Detective Pikachu yeah. uh, so we usually do these spoiler free for like maybe five minutes mm-hmm. so we're going to discuss our overall thoughts but without spoiling the movie then we'll mm-hmm. dive into spoilers okay. cool. uh, let's start here Sean sure. what's your relationship with Pokemon are you cool. a fan of the cartoons or anything else and then yes. what are you, your thoughts about the movie so pretty big fan. I've played all the like mainline series games, kind of the weird side games. And Detective Pikachu actually is the side game. And from our quick research, it pulls a lot, okay. like for plot wise, from that, which is interesting. Um, so it really is the game is his dad like, died yeah, like, and he has kinda, to go yeah. find him. Shh. <laughs> Just kidding. That's like the first thing that happens. <laughs> but yeah, so it pulls a lot from that. Um, and I've played the games and I've I've never gotten into like competitive Pokemon playing, mm. but I've watched plenty of YouTubers who are into it and we've watched tournaments of it. Um, yes, I've watched the TV show, but not like it's really hard because it's been like 20 years and I still don't watch <laughs> cartoons that regularly. Mm-hmm. But yeah, well, you're missing out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's basically my background with it. Well, what are your thoughts about the movie? Like, you know, like Gen- it's, it's, in very general, general terms, yeah. I thought it was pretty fun, and it mostly did what I kind of expected it to do, okay. as like a loving homage of like this is the world and universe we're in, and like the what if if we got to see Pokemon in the flesh in a real mm-hmm. way yeah how was that the verse was it was it did it go past the uncanny valley or do you think that they it stayed what do you like yeah. so i i only watched the cartoons uh mm-hmm. the first series cartoon with ash uh mm-hmm. did you think like oh this is how i imagined this pokemon to look like like what's his name liquor like that liquor like liquor like liquor 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 from resident <laughs> evil uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Like, uh, liquor like that did you imagine that thing to look like that <laughs> Well, I never really like formally imagined it, um, but apparently, when they made this movie, there was like some sort of artist on Tumblr who like made this photo ah, series um, of like what if they looked realistic, okay. and he was contacted to do oh, some of the work cool. for it. That's, yeah, it's that's really cool. cool. And they really pulled from the community to it, yeah. Help you, can, you could I, that's the one thing I really liked about it. It really felt like a really correct and loving tribute to everything. So as a nerd, you'd be like. Oh, Look at all those little like it nuggets some, in there. Wasn't some graphic artist yeah, who's who, never like, seen it has nothing to deal with exactly. it. Right. So yeah. yes, it felt pretty real, um, without necessarily feeling creepy. <laughs> um some of them felt creepy, but I felt like the ones that were creepy were meant to be, like a fucking giant snake dragon and oh, water yeah, of yeah. course like that yeah there's that one I mean, charizard scene. looks creep, creep. That creep the, well, the textures of his face He's, and everything yeah but like he is a giant fire breathing yeah. lizard dragon but it, it still looks soft though like yeah. uh like uh comforting or inviting they still gave right. it that type of look it didn't, right. it didn't look like a lizard right like mm-hmm. too animalistic to the point you're like ooh, yeah. and they kept all the cute ones like pretty darn mm-hmm. cute like oh it's hard to oh. i think i still with the eyes Yes. yes. The anime S. But they made them a little <laughs> smaller, not quite like, this is the size of my face. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that would be... Yeah. That Psyduck would be... is the only one that has huge eyes in that movie for well, some reason. Well, he has a lot of migraines. <laughs> yeah. He has a lot of <laughs> mental issues he needs to work through. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Psyduck's di- eyes are just like... Yeah. Bugging out. They are like half his face, right? Pretty yeah. Much. They're yeah. a little concerning. Yeah. Right. Any more thoughts? 
Mm, spoiler free thoughts i think that's right. pretty much it <laughs> david yeah. same thing i know you're so one reason i wanted you to be on the podcast because yeah. i was like i don't know anyone who plays these games or any information <laughs> i was like you know it and like yeah. i i mean since i known you you have the cards i know you play the games the other person is your guy's cousin uh cedo who yeah. plays it uh too but I can't get him on here. Uh, but yeah, he what's your thoughts? Yeah, he's, he's overbooked. <laughs> yeah, he's overbooked. too busy. Yeah. Probably in school right yeah. now. Um, yeah, so... Um, uh, yeah, you know, Pokemon all my life. I uh, played all the games as soon as they came out. Uh, Mom, uh, thankfully, gave me like all the games I couldn't play. And then uh, Saturday morning cartoons um, up Nerd. until like a certain point. I watched the movies when they were all in theaters. Them? Not like all of them. Okay, because there's a lot of like just the TV spinoff movies. There's like yeah, um, they make one like every two years. Yeah, they recently they, really? they, they recently yeah uh-huh. they recently remade the Pokemon first movie. Right, yeah. the original Into, one that like, everyone has seen to CGI. Oh. But like the, a, no. yeah. or yeah. It, yeah, it's like they're still trying to work on it, and like, yeah. it'll be released yeah. later this year. But it's yeah, but they do so many of them that to the point where you're just like, oh, it's like other TV episodes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, no. Like I've I've seen some of the movies. Um, yeah, it's definitely a huge departure of just the like main kind of because uh, like the movies that they've released is kind of like looped into like the anime where it has Ash and Pikachu and all that stuff. Um, definitely, it's a because it's a different like company that's kind of uh, making the movies, producing them, and all that stuff. It's just. Uh, exploring a different IP uh, because Detective Pikachu is its own uh, thing, mm-hmm. as we mentioned, and um, yeah. Do, I you, mean, do you enjoy that there was no direct reference to Ash or to like the the other the Kanto region or whatever the other region? No, they, like, they, so they yeah. kind of did. Yeah. yeah, no, there's plenty of references. Like, well, uh, I mean, I mean, there they were there were subtle for people who actually know, like, because yeah. I don't know, so I didn't really. I think I might have heard a few words, but oh yeah, nothing to be like. Like, was it fan service or was was it, uh, was it pandering or most of the fan service would be just like uh, like if you were able to see just like the Pokemon Championship posters in the background or something. Those are yeah. real just things. like designs and stuff. Like those are actual things in the game. Well, they they pull from like some of the anime. Reference. They oh, pull okay. from uh, different uh, cities that are in the games and stuff. And it's, okay, so yeah. I I won't say the scene, but I yeah. did not know. I thought they're just made up. Like these, there's a championship thing they show like championship 28 or i don't know what the mm-hmm. number was i was like that's a lot <laughs> a champion's yeah. right um but i think it's also trying to pull from like we'll talk into the spoiler part but it might be pulling from like uh the future video game that's set to release this year ah, as well wow. mm-hmm. and i think plot wise there was one explicit reference to the first generation of the TV show slash movie. Oh, right. okay. kind, of. kind of. We'll talk about it. All right. We'll talk <laughs> about it. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Hmm? I'm, I'm the grandmother <laughs> of it right now. I'm just looking at you for like, you know, five seconds. And then show me your, in an awkward. your sorry chest. I know you're a huge a Pokemon com- fan, Audrey. <laughs> yeah. You can't stop talking about Pikachu. Pikachu this. I want to see this Pikachu I think in the shower. I want to see this Pikachu what? by me. Oh, I meant Ryan Reynolds. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, gosh. I think all your references are just like from me and Sito. Yeah, that's all I know. Yeah. But I really, I really, I think Ryan Reynolds was a good choice. I think he's good. I think Danny DeVito would be the better choice. <laughs> 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 they get it. Because that's a, it's uh, a thing that happened in the internet before they announced the yeah. uh, Ryan Reynolds. They, a lot of people wanted Danny DeVito. To, to be, be Pikachu? The, yeah. Well, in the game, in the game version. Why? Uh, because when they translate the game, the, the original Detective Pikachu, he talks too. So they wanted there was like a push for Danny DeVito to be to like the, a rough detective, yeah, like, yeah, like yes. a hard boiled type of thing. So right. you can see like in YouTube they have the De- 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 Oh, he didn't do it, it, but they take scenes from Sunny and then just oh, that makes yeah. it perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It looks really it's good. pretty good. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, and, and like in the game, it's it has that kind of rough uh, Danny DeVito voice. Of Is it just, really? Yeah. It Is that why th- they uh, they have? Well, I guess we'll talk about it later. But. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I I enjoy Ryan Reynolds' humor, and I think. If I could have a Pikachu, I would like it to be Ryan Reynolds. To be Deadpool. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. And I liked, I loved the, um, uh, I guess it's the CGI or the way they made Pikachu mm-hmm. specifically. I know they paid the most attention to him. Yeah. But I loved, how, I loved how he was fluffy, how you can tell the fluff. And I still love how they still had like 
where he his little mouth is still drawn like a little M. You know, that's oh like yeah, that. it was. And yeah, his, mm-hmm. his little his little fingies and little toesies and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, and then when he's all wet, it's sad, and then fluffy, and, and the then ears, the motion, the motion in the face too. Mm-hmm. I thought it was really good because I think they did motion capturing. They did. Yeah. Oh, did yeah. They? oh, oh was, wow. was there an actor there with him? Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds, Reynolds right? did it. <laughs> oh, was the actor there? Oh, I guess so. I guess yeah, that makes sense. Probably. Right. There's no way you could like animate the sprinkles so real. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I th- I liked the movie a lot. I thought it was good. Um, I I don't. I, I have this thing. I I like animals, but then I still I still understand why we have to have them as farmed and in like, the movie. No, in general. Oh, okay, uh, no, I'm, okay, I'm yeah. explaining. Okay, yeah. Okay, Pokemon, okay. they're animals. Basically, mm-hmm. they're your pets. It's like a, mm-hmm. a thing for a dog or cat. Um, and like this this whole thing was like, oh, now they're mostly you see them in the wild, and mm-hmm. now they're here and they're with you, and it's like, um. Like that's okay, but um, like seeing them on a farm and like I don't know, like I, I don't know, like if there's a secret thing of where Pokemon are used for a, a human's own purpose or other things besides fighting, which is weird to begin with. Yeah, well, yes. that yeah. is weird. Yeah, yeah. they what always they always about? try to sell this whole like that you choose Pokemon, but the Pokemon has to choose you too. Yeah, yeah. but right. then on top of that too, it's very like kumbaya. We're living in symbiosis together, taking care of our planet sort of thing and that, that, that's apparently yeah and that's Pokemon. what the most cities it, like in like the anime is supposed yep. to be right exactly yeah and they're contained unless you choose to have them outside of the balls mm. yep but i think it's just weird that they were like on a farm and mm-hmm. one thing and then then they're out in the wild which and then but i do like how like they're i guess they've been with us forever yep. sort of thing mm-hmm. which is kind of a neat thing to think about and they're they're what is how do you say they're self-aware yeah, and they're, yeah. Te- they're, I guess they're intelligent, but we just don't. They're like we, sentient. sentient and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so I still feel it weird where, I don't know. I mean, like I, I like cats mm-hmm. and dogs. I do like them as pets, but then I also don't like it um, when you see like zoos and stuff and aquariums. Like, I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I, like, I'm sure people would still enjoy animals or want to be with animals or right. learn about animals without having to put them in a cage. Right. Mm-hmm. And these guys are literally in a cage in your pocket. Oh, yeah. 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 So you're to... horrible for liking Pokemon. Well, I'm, for... <laughs> I mean, we'll talk. Tell Peter. I feel like we'll talk about it, but like it, I think that's the reason why they kind of went in the direction they did in the movie, where uh, they kind of lifted the, they limited the Pokemon kind of sphere of just like uh, everyone has like a partner Pokemon that they yeah. have, and it's outside of the Pokeball. Yes, within the city, so it kind of has and then uh, like they even thought like that's weird right. Where, where's yours it's like, exactly I'm my own strong independent woman you know type of thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Kind of. yeah yeah that's cool what about you john how'd you feel uh i like the film too i think it's a good film to take for your kids it reminded me of like the 90s like space jam or like oh, roger yeah. rabbit mm-hmm. that's stuff. a lot so of what the people yeah they have like a balance of adult humor and there's a lot of adult humor stuff there's a one joke literally is adult joke I don't know why they added he that. Said a bad word too. No, well, yeah, but <laughs> which one? I, I'll tell you in the spoiler. Okay, okay. But it's I, I was really surprised about the joke. Uh, but yeah, and then there's the that's a good like introduction to like this weird sci-fi genre. Mm-hmm. I don't even know what. I guess it's a sci-fi genre, but yeah. it also has this like the noir. I, am I saying noir? That? Like, noir type uh, right. story that I really like. And then yeah. you can like get into it that way too. And then uh, and all the the way they film everything is really neat. I guess the fil- the movies is film, like they use actual film. It shows because the way you can tell, like certain characters look really nice mm-hmm. in the in the shots and everything. It's not look, it's not like a digital blend, uh, but it looks really nice. The film, and uh, I just like the overall story. And then there are some little twists in there that was like kind of weird <laughs> and odd. And I understand why they have to do it because there's an actor they have. Uh, Ryan Reynolds, uh, yeah. that that's in the movie. So yeah, yeah. I, I can't. Like, I bet it was in his contract. Yes, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, yeah, like we're complaining. He's really <laughs> good. He didn't say Chimichanga, so it's cool. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's not referencing like oh my favorite Marvel movie or something yeah. like that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Ryan Reynolds is really good. Uh, I like Justice Smith. He's good. And uh, I what else so. has he been in? That one movie you reference, I don't know. Paper Towns. Yeah. Paper Towns. Teen yeah. Romance. Is John, that a young novel, a young adult yeah, novel type of thing? John Green. The 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 young novel he wrote the fault in our stars he writes really, those mm, seen yeah. those but i have not they're observed them with my eyes. real sad real tragic i watched fault 
What is it called? Fallen Our Stars. Yeah, that's a really sad movie. Cancer. I cried. Yeah. A lot of his books are can <laughs> Basically, can yeah. the girl has like something about her. It's probably a sickness. And <laughs> probably a sickness. Probably She's a sickness. And the guy, <laughs> the guy is awkward and nerdy mm -hmm. and maybe fall in love. But that's her. literally Paper Towns, except she's just too cool for him. Yeah. And oh. then she runs away. Yeah. And he like... Like a snotty brat. Yeah. And then he the, literally... Spoilers for Paper Towns. Oh, come on. And then he, he literally spends the whole movie looking for her. And Justice plays like the cool side friend. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ash so if you're interested it. to watch him more. I would, but yeah. not in those type of oh, movies. Films. Yeah. I mean, he I'll has wait, a good future. I'll wait till Pokemon, Detective Pikachu. They're not going to make a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it again. Yeah, it again. Again. I really yeah. hope I they don't make a sequel. Yeah, same here. Oof. I also like... Pokemon... Detective Psyduck. Psyduck, yeah. <laughs> that, that's what I'm yeah. mention. Uh, I like Catherine Newton's character only yeah. because she feels like an anime character. Like her, she yes. literally. Yeah. I was like, oh, I need the case and stuff yeah. like that. She like, literally like, dresses like, 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 yeah, so like, yeah. like, like your generic. Are you a boy or girl? Yeah, mm -hmm. she the red like, uh, jacket. The way it's the you know, cap. Look, especially if you're sensible a ponytail. Pokemon yeah, Go sensible. player, like that outfit looks like straight from Pokemon Go with the backpack and everything, yeah. with the hat and everything, and the way. Her hair is like, man, they really are catering to those new players now. Do you like how they oh, yeah. the, how they inter or try to intertwine anime styles mm -hmm. of how the version that people are into the real world? Yep. You don't? Do you think it, it it wasn't over the top at all? It was barely it was like bar yeah, barely visible, like yeah. a pretty realistic, yeah. which was nice. Like yep. most characters, minus that one guy with the jacket and the nipples. Mm, yeah, uh, that was kind of. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had never seen that in Pokemon I mean, before. that that one kind of seemed the, the least anime. That that one seemed the most like, one. what is yeah. going on here? Yeah, yeah. tone wise. Uh, those are my thoughts. <laughs> 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 so yeah, overall, I like the movie. Like it's a cool like a movie you can just take your kids to, and then if you're growing up. So my uh, I forgot to mention. Uh, I only watched the anime up to a certain point because I was in freshman year of high school mm. and then that's it. And then I watched uh, Pokemon, the first movie with, what's this, what's that? Mewtwo. Is yeah, it yes. Is uh, that where, is that where Ash dies? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Frozen, so he and, froze. And so I he, cried in that part. And then he Pikachu's him. <laughs> that's and then one of the yeah. most memorable yes. moments for me because that's the first time I ever cried in the movie theater as a kid yeah. watching a cartoon. Like that never hit me before. Yep. And, and you've I, been doing it ever since. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But just seeing that Pikachu kicking Ash like that and they're like, man, it's sad. And yeah, th that really hit me. And that's my like... That's copyrighted. We can't use that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have uh, rights. So. But yeah, those are my like... Mm -hmm. uh, what do you call it? connection to pokemon yeah. But yeah good movie why did you stop watching it huh i just grew out of it like i, I actually did you watch stopped it did you watch it along completely. like with along with dragon ball or did you go like oh i'm too old for pokemon now i'm gonna go to dragon ball well dragon ball is kind of a different like age group yeah cartoon. Yeah. yeah they really keep <laughs> the pokemon like animated series so really if, for kids if pokemon yeah. was on toonami that's the one i continue watching on uh if it was on toonami yeah you, i would you probably watch it on it that out. block that's but it was never was. It was always on Saturday morning, I guess. Yep. Saturday morning. So I stopped watching Saturday movies. Dragon Ball came out after high school. And during high school, uh, after class or after school, mm -hmm. it comes out around like 3.30 or yeah. something like that. And we rush home, watch it, and that's it. I think and Sailor Moon was on in the morning. I'd watch that. Yep. And then I, I can't remember what was on. The Pizza afternoon. Cats. That's why I yeah. used to watch. <laughs> Summer <laughs> Pizza Thunder Cats. Thunder Cats, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, let's, sure let's, back, right? let's move on to spoiler. There's no music to this, so just dive into yeah. spoilers. Let's get spoilers, out of Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're listening, uh, that's good. Uh, you can doing? stop it here and just you know you know our contacts and stuff like that. But we're going to talk about spoilers about the movie. I don't know spoilers. how long we'll take. Usually it will take about ten to fifteen minutes. So you can fast forward if you want. Uh, after that, we'll be discussing the top or. The 19 freaking awesome stuff of the year. So you can continue to listen to that. But let's dive into spoilers. Uh, let's start with Audrey. Was any spoiler things that you want to discuss? He said hell. That's what he said. <laughs> I, which Pikachu. scene? Remind me. Get me the hell out of here when they're fighting. That's yeah. Pikachu, right? Yeah, when but they're in the ring. Justice Smith also said, oh, like, uh, oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. You, know, but you, know, sh you know that yeah, Almost. Of. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But, like, basically Pikachu was, like, the PG version of Deadpool, right? Like, yeah. it felt very channeling yeah. that, which was like, okay, I sure. can see, like, our kids now gonna, like, if when they watch that, they'll, will, like, quote those sort of things. Like, oh, yeah. like, <laughs> totally. It's very, uh, very spongy. But, um, yeah, there, there were weird twists. I don't know, I don't know if they 
were necessarily un- if they were unnecessary or if that's how like when you if you were to watch an anime uh, an anime mm-hmm. or a movie that's how it'd be where like where you think it's a father but no it's the son but no it's not really the son but the son's yeah. gonna come yeah. out and he's like you know what don't worry <laughs> about him i'm gonna <clears throat> i'm gonna go ahead and make it better for you guys yeah. <laughs> is that a twist in the video game detective no. pikachu so no is so how a, much a rich, of the a rich dude trying to save the world no himself? it's not even save the world kind of thing it's uh like, I only read it because, like, the game apparently is awful. It's like a picture book type game. Oh, it's not but even, like, actual detective work? It's no, not like no, it's I mean, very you right, collect right. stuff and you yeah, make get choices and told, like, what you're supposed to glean from the clue. Uh, Does he drink coffees a lot? Yes. Yes. Okay. That, so that that's was accurate consistent. in the movie? Yes. The, cons- his little, his little <laughs> the consistencies are, like, Detective Pikachu, The Missing Dad. Uh, there's a detective agency that uh, you work with. You have like a boss. It's mm-hmm. kind of the Ken Watanabe. Watanabe. Watanabe character. I always forget. Sorry. Um, but um, there's that. And then uh, there's like a, a lot of mm-hmm. mysteries that revolve around Pokemon kind of acting aggressively. You oh, do, so that part's in the Yeah, the, the R's too. in okay. there. And then there is like... I, uh, thought, I thought that was a reference to Team Rocket. Same here. The whole time they kept yeah. on saying R. I was like, is oh, that yeah. Team Rocket? <laughs> that that would have been girl, great. That yeah. one girl was supposed to be the rocket girl right or whatever the, the hairstyle is like referencing i forget the that. i forget their names ditto. jesse and james yeah, yeah like kind of that ditto yeah that's supposed to be. she even had like gloves like pink gloves but i mean jesse doesn't have but she has like black gloves but that's, so. that's that was what well she the was reason trying. she that particular one not the main girl but that particular one had pink gloves because she was spoiler ditto yeah which was super cool anyway that was but, a good uh, so i like that twist yeah. that was <laughs> a, that was a that twist was great. yeah, yeah. Uh, like because in the anime, Ditto is can turn into like uh, just objects. It, mm-hmm. it turned into like a cannon ball or like a cannon straight up cannon thing one time. And is uh, it a rare and very strong sca- Pokemon? No, scary it's just, Pokemon. It's rare. It's, or, or or did they weaponize? Well, they weaponized it in this movie. That kind of goes into the lore a little bit. Like the reason Ditto exists possibly is because the uh, they were doing experiments to try and clone Mew. And the Which failed, ex- and mm-hmm. then the failed experiments uh, were could be ditto, ah. and like s- the theory. Yeah, because I think they did literally say that, like that's his, that's his experiment. Like that's not. Yeah. Well, no, they knew what a ditto was, right? Yeah. Yeah, they knew because Justice Smith character knew what like. Ditto oh, you're so a ditto. Ditto. D- dittos exist, but the the ditto yeah. of this magnitude. Right. Is well, not yeah, because like the common. bad guy mentioned, he like did some genetic. Testing on this right. ditto, right? And the the great thing is the only thing they can't get right is eyes. Yeah. Yeah. That is scary. <laughs> yeah. That is like, oh, yeah. Yeah. But it's a good twist because the, throughout the whole movie, you see those characters with the glasses. Yeah. And I, I didn't even even think about it. I was like, yeah. oh, I guess they're just bad guy people, especially right. the woman who's playing. I don't even know. She had a name, uh, yes. but I she had remember. the pink hair. Right. But you mm-hmm. like they all two characters had glasses. I was like, okay, and then it turned out they were both the same person the yeah. whole time. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> that's such a good twist. Yeah. I mean, like, for, yeah. Uh, but um, yeah, it kind of gets into the lore. Like, no one, it's not really confirmed or denied. And the reason people think that it's like failed experiments is because one of the moves uh, that Mew does naturally learn is transform, mm. and which is the signature, and like the only other Pokemon that can learn it is Ditto. Oh, okay. Wait, Mew can transform too? Yeah. Oh, I did not know that. The, 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 the small the, thing, right? Yeah. yeah. The, the Mewtwo Mew, didn't, didn't, though, right? Mewtwo no, did. the whole thing about Mew is it can learn any move anyone can ever do yep. like that. Oh, so if he observes you then oh. he can that, that so he would always win you because he would just yeah do it's like like, like muse like the basis of like dna and stuff basically yeah. is Mew still because in the movie it was uh an a deceased or not a deceased a but a fossil no, a fossil and not real not not a real, no longer existing pokemon uh-huh. that they know of so not in the know. movie they actually reference pokemon the first movie because yes. they said 20 years, years ago. ago yeah i was like what 20 years ago that's that though happened 20 years yeah. Yeah. yeah i was yeah, like the, that's kind of cool so, so that's like they're pulling the first pokemon yeah. movie but it also yeah. means exi- ash that, that exists exactly. in this universe <laughs> <Kind> <laughs> yeah <of>. that, <laughs> that seems to be applying that which yeah. is a little like implication but mm. 20 years in the future. Yeah. Mm. Which is interesting. Mm. That makes things He's going to be adult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Adult Ash. He doesn't grow. I'm still well, trying to be the a... best. <laughs> <laughs> he can't be the best. <laughs> no. Um, but yeah. Um, I don't know what else to say here. Uh, and the Mewtwo in yeah. this one, it, he he psychically talked to them, right? He didn't speak. He didn't open his mouth. Yep. Telepathy. Mm. And yeah. that's, that's his thing, right? Yep. Yeah. From the movies. Yep. And it is also the switching the souls thing. Is that a yeah? Thing? That's a that weird thing. Is, that was what they added. Which that was, uh, they, they added for sure. But he did like Mewtwo did have like the kind of ability to kind of like connect minds because of that whole telep- 
telepathic uh, connections. Did he believe humans were evil when when he, he woke up? In the first he movie, he's, yeah. he's evolved from Mew, or is it a different? They made genetic... a genetic experiment it's out a of clone. Mew. Oh, it's a clone. So it's the thing about Jurassic Park, and this is the bad thing that we yeah. like clone. And Jurassic Park's not bad. No, you know how like Jurassic Park has, especially Jurassic yeah. World, they have that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that thing. The white whiteosaurus. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah the magic, the magic extra scary terrain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh yeah, great, like in camouflage. Has, like, yeah, super intelligence. And so all Mewtwo that. is not a natural Pokemon, and it's not the natural. It's a man-made. It's one, a natural. Yeah. It's not a natural evolution of Mew. Exactly. Is there? Do you do we know what the natural evolution of a Mew is? Supposedly not. Yeah, supposedly. Because he's probably not. He's so cool. Yeah, so cool and elusive. There's only one of him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like Mewtwo in the first uh, movie uh, basically was coming to grips of just like being like, I'm a clone kind of thing. And, oh, so. Uh, and basically kind of so created you, clones. You destroy your creator type of thing? Kind of. Yeah. Ish. Um, and it kind of pulled in a bunch of like thoughts from that movie too. Like, again, mm. spoilers, the... Uh, thought of becoming the best version of ourselves. A lot of the clone uh, experiments were leaning toward um, like creating the perfect Pokemon. Uh, that's like original, like Mewtwo's original intent and design. Um, and so to put humans in, or just no, to just you, make you, the perfect cre- creating the perfect Pokemon. Period. So it's Question. like when they breed dogs to make with short legs and short legs and short legs, and then they and have diseases. That's not perfect yeah. dog anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, in, but in this context, it was Team Rocket kind of funded it, and the leader Giovanni wanted to use the ultimate Pokemon, you know, to rule to the win world. battles. Like to rule like, the like, world. Is it always the intent to win yes, a battle to, and to get a badge to rule the world to get a little so, embroidery badge? So no, he, the world badge. <laughs> he wants world, to get the world take badge. over the world because technically he's world. a gym leader too. Giovanni. Ah. So could you control the world if you control the biggest gym, which is uh, the world gym? Well, no. <laughs> I don't know. Well, <laughs> the idea that he's using Mewtwo as a weapon of his mass yeah, world domination. Yeah, because he could go beyond just like the gym. Because that's the rule, that. right? That Pokemon, you can't use your Pokemon. You can't use your Pokemon to hurt a human, right? Exactly. Yeah. But can right. the Pokemon Wait, is there hurt you? three r- rules of Pokemon? Of robotics? Too? Yeah, well, Pokemon. Well, kind Pokemon. of more like unwritten. Very laws. unwritten. It's kind of... You never really see Pokemon, because you kind like of, in the games, you don't really ever explicitly see. Right, because you got to imagine this is a game for like ten year olds. Mm-hmm. Right. So All that that was also a fun reference because right in the game you're always eleven when you sat on your journey, mm-hmm. and the main character was eleven when he made that. Oh, decision. really? That's yeah. Cool. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so he didn't go on his journey. He didn't. Right. Yes. So he's going on at a more reasonable age of twenty one. Yeah. yeah. Because more in the reasonable. game you're like, <laughs> I'm eleven. Yeah. My mom said, "Go have fun, oh, kid," yeah. <laughs> and you. Save the world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every single game. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of yeah, I didn't even realize. Wait, that. in the game, is there like a character like Ash? You play Ash or something? Or? It's a very like generic, oh, nameless okay. character. You put like you put your. It. You, oh, okay. It's like meant to like be you, mm-hmm. siphon through, and they have a pre-written story that you kind of follow. So that's like my one concern when they like do sequels yeah. or if they like try to do more in this mm-hmm. universe. Because they're obviously gonna like choose one of the legendaries, right? Because that's the most like dramatic thing. There's but so many of them too. There's what, like what what Pokemon didn't show up that you guys are super? There's, well, there's they uh, like they were very good about using like a little bit from like all the games basically. Mm-hmm. But there's like what like six hundred, eight hundred, eight hundred. Because every time they make a generation of games, they make a, crank out another like hundred or so. And then when there's so, a blue and a red on each of those things, there's right? like some exclusives. Yeah, yeah so. There's no way I wouldn't want them to try to fit all of <laughs> oh, them in. Yeah. But they did a really good job of like using a little bit of everything, which yep. was fun and in mostly a logical way. Yep. Like you're like, oh, I can legitimately see them in that environment. Like these Pokemon, yeah. yeah. But I'm scared if they like try to use the other legendaries and stuff because they all have like what they do like there's a pokemon that's the master of time of what? space uh, there's one that's yeah. literally the avengers <laughs> there's literally <laughs> a god pokemon because uh it dreams you recall in bill nye's office mm-hmm. there was like the Three giant statues giant pokemon yeah that was like the. Pokemon. i wasn't really seeing those statues but i knew they were like type of Looking they look like animals i thought it was just architecture yeah same because here no, it was, because the whole city it was arceus like and that. dialga right i think it was Ar- arceus dialga and palkia which is the which is they're a trio and that's space time and god oh wow so so we know that he is interested he knows of them and then trying maybe yeah he has a little bit of a god complex kind of people people know them and have seen them or they're like 
Mm-hmm. I mean, or they, they have what is that, like, because like they a have myth. statues. Like a myth. They They're treat myth. it. They treat it as like a legend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they you know, it's kind of, of just uh, like from a filmmaking standpoint, it's just like subtlety of just like these are the gods that are overhanging and watching Bill Nye doing his devious deeds. Mm-hmm. I mean. Obviously, kind of like did they? You can those, tell. Did they put the things kind of in motion? Did, yeah. Did, they, you know? mm-hmm. did you guys figure out he was a bad guy right away? Because I kind of like, like nudging you. I was like, something's with this guy. Like he's either. Yeah, uh, he was weird. I, figured, weird. I thought about it like when they were doing the uh, kind of like the weird promo mm-hmm. in front of yeah. the green screen, like when he introduced himself as what the um, the savior of the wor- Pokemon or yeah, something. but he was yeah. a little like, okay, you have a god complex, okay, mm-hmm. yeah. So that's gonna come. But then play. they showed the son as being a jerk, so you, and then he was like, "Oh, I'm try as like so a, like, a like, mister, oh, like a misdirect for you." Yeah. yeah. So then you're yeah. like, "Oh, that the son must be the one who wants to destroy." Them. And then he even said, "You know, oh, I neglected my son, so now he hates the Pokemon." Like, like he literally spelled it out for you yeah. to make you to obviously distract you and put you on the wrong path. I mean, he's like a little twenty year old, twenty one year old who's only done insurance, so he doesn't really right. have to know <laughs> experience. I don't yeah. know if he's that good at insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even be. What is it? What was it? Supervisor? No. No, no, senior, no. Senior, senior, senior management. Or something <laughs> that was like two that. steps ahead. He yeah, tried. he's like, <laughs> no, <laughs> girl. I like the very, very beginning though. They did t- kind of talk about Pokemon when he went to go get the little bony guy. Yeah. And yeah. they talked about like, oh, the earth and the water. Did you know animals. about that type of Pokemon with the, the skull? Cuba. With the mother? Yeah, because he's in the game, the girl oh, okay. game. And then I think somewhere somebody said, oh, that's his mom's skull. Yeah. And then yeah. like, oh, he's crying. And then yeah. like, I can't believe they actually said that. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. And then he there. got him that put where he didn't get him, but whatever. He saw it in the, there was a stars or something happened the night before. And he's like, oh, your mom died too. So this... Yeah, this oh, is yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yikes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the Q bone story is kind of uh just like in the first games always, uh like in every iteration, there always like is some reference to like oh, so really? uh Q Bone's mother, uh which is the evolved version of a Q Bone. Uh, which is weird to think about yeah. dies like literally dies. Like you don't see it die or anything, but you just Do Pokemon know the come story from other Pokemon? Yes, yes, you can. You Breed. can in the games. It's called Pokemon Daycare, and if you leave two <laughs> compatible Pokemon in there for long enough, they'll get an egg. Yeah. Yeah. Really, also, they really so they make eggs, like, like in the game, okay. mm-hmm. like in the Go game. Did not Except know that. like the legendaries are. Un- yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't yeah. explain them. Yeah, yeah. They don't have. <laughs> they don't make babies. sexual <laughs> organs or anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, he said he didn't wear pants too, but Pikachu. So yeah. I'm not wearing underwear. I don't even think there is a Pokemon that wears pants. Right, Mr. Mime. No, he Mr. doesn't Mime wear Mime. pants at all. I mean, like his little things, is the colors. Oh, yeah, circles. there's this like scraggy and like its whole thing. It's like trying to hold up a pair of pants. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. It's like skin. Exactly. So it's weird. I read an article about Mr. Mime. Uh-huh. The yeah. studio when they went to I forgot what who makes the games. Not Nintendo, but Game Freak. Yeah, Game Freak. Yeah. They asked him like, so what's Mr. Mime? And then Game Freak is like, we don't know <laughs> that. Right. Because so they <laughs> took like elements, textures, like his. His little shoulder is a mm-hmm. ball, uh-huh. and he has like actual gloves as hands. Like right. those are real thing. Because they love the texture of him and made him the most creepiest thing in there. He's, yep. he's my favorite part in the. Oh, <laughs> that movie. scene was yeah. great. So good. And like apparently the original Japanese name is doesn't involve the word Mister at all. Mm-hmm. So there are male and female Mister oh, Mimes. Right. So and, yeah, yeah, I, I someone something happened with the English translation <laughs> in nineteen. 19- well, yeah, I mean, the English translation, they probably didn't assume that this was going to be like a drawn out series by any means. Right, yeah. they're like, yeah, like a one off. Yeah, they're like, this yeah. is some weird thing. So but. they made a Mr. Mime. They made, you know, uh, Jinx. They made. Oh, yeah, that one's rough. A whole bunch of. Because <laughs> that one was. <laughs> in the, when, when they're in the, what is that called? The science laboratory and the, the guys that were in the little the little Gr- three the three tubes the Greninjas and then, and then they're like yeah. oh these these whatever what are they, what are they called Greninja. you mean the Smash Brother characters yeah no. the Greninjas. <laughs> that's, like, that's like, how I know them. they're like the Greninjas they're like yeah. there's something wrong with them and then I thought because I've never seen that Pokemon before I thought that they had put a device around their mouth oh, no. to <laughs> the stop tongue that, tongue yeah the tongue? to stop them from yeah. whatever from the horribleness coming out of their mouth I thought oh. they were like controlling no, 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 that that's how and then looks. when they go find them then I realize oh that's their tongue and it's a yeah. scarf it's like, it's yeah. their frog. stylish little yeah. scarf yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> that's kind of cool you didn't know that so what about them made them look different or like yeah, what is that? They, yeah. Their like, implication like, was they were like trying to genetically modify them to, to make them stronger. Stronger, but, they, but the the two characters, the girl and the boy, could physically or visually see something was wrong with them. So it's, what about it? Yeah, made them look I different? think it's like that whole like 
empathy thing. They feel like feral. A little bit of empathy. And then there was like, you know, the chart thing that was like next to their cube or whatever. (laughs) Were they bigger than usual or something? No, I think they're about to scale of what yeah. it's They were about to, to scale the Torterra, though. What is that? <laughs> so so, it's, <laughs> I was like, so when that scene is happening, I was like, what is this? Because I have no idea what Pokemon... Well, what I know, Pokemon are not that big. That, and I thought not. it was just an earthquake no, that, no, happening. That, that's the, they said that, that was the experiment was to make them large. I know, but that yeah. thing's huge to the point where <laughs> they can kill people when now. They, when, when they broke into the little terrarium... <laughs> they it, saw the min- the regular size. Yeah, 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 and then they walk, and then they said, this is like the enclosure. And then they walked right out outside like why obviously, why would they open? obviously yeah, yeah. outside i was questioning that too enclo- yes, is yes, the yes. real enclosure not that but little. still that's a huge pokemon uh-huh. that, that there's like four ridiculous. of them or something i was like man this is can How they explain you? that more <laughs> yeah well because it's just a giant turtle with like a yeah with like a land mass on, it. on yeah. its back uh, the continent pokemon. but you guys say there's nothing like that in the no, game nothing of that scale of that scale no even like the like legendaries are not that big well technically I mean, they're pretty fast and loose with like actual size measurements of their yeah, actual that, that, Pokemon. The Cubone, I didn't realize it was that small when the, he's yeah. running away and it's this little dude in the grass. Yeah. yeah, because they do like actually like write down actual numbers for every yeah, single I saw one. Yeah, on the card right here. It gives their actual he's like size number sight. twenty-five mouse Pokemon height. Yeah. So one foot when four we watch the movie, yeah. when you, anyone watches the movie, they'll give you these cards. Do you guys get them? Yes. Yes. Okay. So there's like these limited edition uh, Pokemon. Uh, Detective Pikachu cards. Basic. They use the actual characters uh, on them. It's kind of cool. I don't know if they're. Are they going by the actual number or is this like different kind of like the. Well, uh, these. Um, they have like the correct information on there, like the number uh, poke- Pokemon entry that they are, what type they are. Um, are they legal in Pokemon battles and card games? <laughs> I'm not sure. If I guess, but I don't think you'd use them because. They don't, don't seem very useful. Useful. Yeah. I think that's exactly. a good way Probably to that's it. why, yeah. But yeah. maybe save them, and they might be. Uh, they won't be collector's items, but um, you never know. Yeah, I still <laughs> twenty I years. From now. I still have my uh, ancient Mew card uh, from uh, when I saw the Pokemon two thousand movie in theaters. Oh. And how much is that on eBay now? I saw it, and it was only like twenty bucks or something. Uh, I'm surprised they don't have. Do they have a Mewtwo uh, yeah, in the collection? Is, okay. Yeah, there's the Charizard is the shiny one. The oh, they have two, like, and then the Greninja. Now they're trying to get you to go see the movie more times so you can mm-hmm. get exactly. all the cards. <laughs> we actually got six packs of these. We, yeah. we got three. We, uh, our son went, and us two, yeah. and then they gave us three when we bought the tickets, and then we it was late showing, so we came back to you know enter the theater, and, and they, they gave you three. three more. I was like, like, okay, sure, <laughs> yeah, why not? free stuff. I was like, oh, okay, and then yeah. my son loves it. <laughs> I, I don't really care about the cards. Is <laughs> Bulbasaur? Is he a? He's a plant. Type Pokemon or water he's, type Pokemon? He's a grass type Pokemon. Grass, he's right. basically like a little frog with a little, little plant yeah. on his back. Do you like, like Do you like how they made him like type of smoothie shiny, like where he looked like he was wet, and then like for the Charizard, he looked like he was, was a lizard. Yeah, lizard. Scaly, and then I think Pikachu so. Was spoofy. Yeah, yeah. That that was an interesting thing. Like some of them, they really tried to make more grotesque and like real and like the cute ones they really were like mm-hmm. is the monkey thing a real thing i look like a fingerling oh, i mean they have to be it's all real <laughs> yeah, yeah sort of yeah. thing They're and then when it evolves yeah. it gets more arms more oh, tail that arms is creepy little <laughs> thing. it was creepy yeah. uh, but it looks a... just like that with the eye, with the giant eyes and then the big cinnamon ears yes yeah and, the, <laughs> yep. and they always roam in packs uh, i think kinda. so in that game Maybe, yeah like, <laughs> they came out in the second generation i believe and oh, it was yeah. like a thing where you knock them out of a tree and they're like a rare yeah. encounter or something so the good ninja throws ninja Wait. stars water stars yeah, yeah. Water is it water stars, yeah. is it from water shuriken that's like an actual move so yeah that was a great reference yep but how does he get it does he make it he makes, he makes it, it. Yeah. yeah which is a is little like Elsa, like, he can do like ice powers yeah. <laughs> with like water yeah. yeah it's a little unclear so like, is he a water pokemon then yes, yes he's a water and oh, dark the, type the water starter of the Seventh or sixth? Sixth generation, right? Because yeah. that's a starter Pokemon. That's yes. a starter one, yeah. So I thought water always they're like cute little the Pokemon. Well, they but start they, cute and they evolve uh, twice. All the starters have like uh, their uh, three level evolution, yeah, yeah. and that one's yeah. The, oh yeah, the, that reminds us. So the yeah. they kind of announced the next generation, the mainline games, and it's Pokemon Sword and Shield. Yeah, yes, yes. And so. Gun. Yeah, and everyone's joking. The third one should be gun. gun. Yes, yeah. <laughs> we all Rock, take out paper, medals. Scissors, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Done. But like the way they presented the trailer, it seems like it's mm-hmm. um, the UK. Mm-hmm. So 
we were kind of picking up on because like if you notice like in the cityscapes when you see them there's like a giant building that kind of looks like a fish that kind of mm-hmm. looks like london yeah there's like a sign that kind of looks like mind the gap you know the red circle yep. yeah, yeah. yeah they, yep. they did yep. merge a lot of architecture from different. there's a lot of british like, people Tokyo, in that british, city yeah. too like so, a lot of the news people were british a lot of the the main like, bad guy was yeah, British. Because they, they created that city, right? That's not yeah. a real place. People could choose to come there Rhyme to city, live with yeah. Pokemon. Right. Yeah. It wasn't like, oh, this is... Is Rhyme a- City a real thing in the game? It's in the Detective Pikachu. Just in Detective oh, okay. Pikachu. It's not in like the mainline games yet. Okay. So um, interesting if they like use that to pull into the new main game. You like how they spelled Cause... it with a Y? <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. That was my favorite part. Yeah. Classic anime goofy mm-hmm. spelling everything. Yeah, because like there's uh, other evidence of like the Galar region when they announced the new games uh, the map had like trains all over it and the way to get to it is via train mm. like mm. just as so. early part of it and then um, full p- cross promotion totally <laughs> and then um, I don't know uh, so it's a career to be a Pokemon trainer Ash, uh, there, ask Ash <laughs> yes and I guess you basically become like a tournament competitor yeah with the implication you win money oh yeah and the like yeah like, the snapshot of the tournament that was uh, in the start of the movie yeah, what yeah. looked like the tournament thing that was happening for uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield oh and really yes. wow yes. so they yeah, yeah, yeah. like that whole that. stadium huh. thing yeah which they haven't explained very much yet they haven't explained because ha- in the main games there hasn't been really like that many of like you're in a giant stadium fighting them unless we were playing like pokemon stadium yeah so and then you said this is very geared towards children so they don't there is no cd underground was that something that yeah, that right. shocked no. you or with like weird drugs like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that made it more movie-ish which is mm-hmm. what i kind of appreciated like like you always have to have that in your classic noir right yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. the That's drug true, dealer yeah. you need yeah. information <laughs> kind of thing give us the information Good so, job. do you guys like that twist that Ryan Reynolds is the dad yes. inside? Oh, <laughs> I was like, um, what? <laughs> Why is he? I mean, there? we gotta get him on. We gotta I, get him on screen somehow. I kind of called it when, like, literally out of nowhere, they said Mewtwo's power was like merging. So, yep, yeah, yeah. It was just like just oh. all the souls. I still don't understand that. So, while Re- Ryan Reynolds is inside Pikachu, does Pikachu, the actual Pikachu, has conscience of his own mind, or is Ryan no, Reynolds no, taking? No, no, Mewtwo said that he's like your heart is there, like you'll know, you'll be there, but you're not gonna remember anything. Yep. He was Pikachu. Wait, I think, what? I think what the was, imp- it wasn't the dad, right? Right. So I think what the implication was because uh, the dad was actually kind of like injured and stuff. Mm-hmm. The Pikachu doesn't have any sort of memories. Yeah. Uh, like after the merge happened and so uh it was like a Pi- third being they made right yeah like so like the pikachu offered its body so that the mind of the father could go into the pikachu but that's then, why he could only okay. talk to his son because yeah. it's genetic yeah <laughs> magic like that. Yeah. <laughs> magic. The, ma- the power of magic and empathy but then guess- he said like he gave up his body for him too so yeah. where is ryan reynolds body this whole time is it no no it gets absorbed because when and you see you two do that yeah when you two did it and then you see the was her in Catherine Newton's character? She becomes Psyduck, and her body just just, just disappears. I thought they always went down yeah. on the floor. No, they all got zapped into their. They, they into got the merged together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. which is like kind of weird. But they don't. She, yeah. You can't hear her talk. It's still Psy 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 like that. The they whole were still time. Pokemon. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Which is, how can you? But how can then, you be in that society? But then Pokemon, you can't use the door as a Pokemon. Exactly. But the Pikachu <laughs> recognized. Can't make a that was her though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know po- uh, Pikachu's like, oh, Lucy or something. He's like, Lucy, yeah, you're Lucy. there, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and yeah. then he's like, oh, your information trumps my thing in the forest or whatever. <laughs> right. Kind yep. of, yeah. It's like, <laughs> oh, we don't really need your information anymore. I know John yeah. didn't like the fact that the son would not recognize his own father's voice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there was no pictures around, like, the house and everything. So of the father. It is, right. So I was telling Audrey. You wouldn't have a picture of yourself. No, but it's a you- audience surprise versus a movie like in that world yeah. surprise because right. they were just hiding his face the whole time so i was like okay i guess i mean i like it that it's not like oh all of a sudden it's johnny depp that well, this mysterious character that comes out of nowhere i also just kind of had the thought that maybe because it's 20 years in the future mm-hmm. maybe the father was ash oh okay yeah, yeah. That that that's it i thought he would cool. be brock <laughs> no, or, <laughs> i wanted or, to yeah, brock. Brock yeah too <laughs> well brock in the thing was he was a womanizer that could never get yeah, it that's so. it. <laughs> that's that was true. his character trait so but it was and the son couldn't do it right <laughs> he could, he didn't, yeah. that's, that's all i don't know it could just be like full circle of just like uh 
because you were so bad at like being a womanizer, maybe you're also just a bad parent. <laughs> that yeah. would be great. I don't know. But and, and they made Ryan Reynolds really older, I guess, and skinnier. Yeah. Like he had really skinny, well, they gave skinny him, jeans. Uh, was it cross eyed glasses? Yeah, yeah. They that gave too. him really bad. And he has like gray to make hair. His eyes, like yeah. do this. Right. Because he is young still. <laughs> like when you see <laughs> yeah. him, he's kind of young. And then just yeah. seeing him having a 21 year old. It's kind of like jarring, like oh, we yeah, yeah. yeah so they have to like age him up a little bit. Yeah, it's and, like uh, really hard boiled, really sad and emotional mm. dad. Skinny jeans <laughs> that makes anybody look old, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, but his like his legs are like super skinny, making yeah. it seem like he's not eating healthy or something. Like yeah, he's been the job he, the whole time. All he wants is his son, and his son doesn't want him, so mm. he has to put he has to put all his. I have to rewatch that scene again when Justice character Tim was like pouring out his heart again with the Pikachu. Mm-hmm. Because now I'm like thinking like, oh wait, that he's actually talking to the dad the whole time. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then not realizing it. And I was like, oh. I don't but, know if but, that but the whole empathy thing they have, Pikachu knew the feelings of the dad, so he knew that it was you know, they were the dad's like, intentions. You don't need yeah. the actually. memory to know that this is we have a connection kind of thing. Also, and I, I can believe that he wouldn't know his own father's voice. voice. Yeah. yeah, I don't oh, yeah. think he was around. I don't, and I don't. Th- it's been so long. He he refuses. You block that stuff out. Literally mm-hmm. ten years because the mom died when he was he around was, eleven, yeah. <coughs> and now he's twenty one. Yeah, yeah. Probably. It didn't seem like they had a great relationship to begin with, and yeah. then when the only thing they had connection was the mother, and the mother died, then that was it. Exactly. Because he seemed like he was always into Pokemon. I don't know if he was a detective in whatever city they were in before. Mm-hmm. And, and then I guess I don't know how old the city is. It's always only ten years old, right? Has uh-huh. to be because, because of the, with the anniversary there, yeah. or something, right? Right. So yeah. once they had that, then he wanted to be with the Pokemon, so he went to the new city, and he yeah. wanted the son to come with him to the city, right? right. Yep. Have you guys watched Batman, the original movie with uh, Michael Keaton? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that scene with the parade reminded me of the Joker doing that. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. this, this is exactly like the Joker, where uh, yeah. the gas and everything. I thought it was cool. I was like, oh. No, and then I you see, like, oh, no, there's going to be some like biohazard mm-hmm. clowns yeah. popping yeah. up. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put it in here. <laughs> yeah. Any more thoughts? Are you sad that Pikachu didn't <laughs> Pikachu a lot? Um, not really. I'm fine. Are those are those moves the moves that he would normally do, or is this yes? Like, or is that like a move that like is like, that his best move? The volt, volt tackle, tackle. Volt yeah, tackle. and it's like supposedly his like signature move. Ah. How come I know, they don't yeah. know what they can do? They have to have some dude tell them. Well, what he, to do? his mind is a human mind. At no, that no, no. Point. I'm saying oh. like when they battle to in regardless. Oh yeah, yeah, like yeah. so the DJ yelling, scene and they're where they're yeah, like they're yelling, yelling, yelling at them, and then I guess it's like I don't understand your English, but I know what you're trying to say. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's it. I don't know. It's more like because uh, why of, doesn't this make sense? To you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, well, I guess it's kind of like when you, when tell you your think dog, about it too much. Yeah, and this is a property it. meant for ten-year-olds, so you kind of have to suspend belief a little bit. Right. I it's mean, very like pet do these things. Also, yeah. can you eat Pokemon? Yeah. So they were in the yeah, market was, scene. Was, I was <laughs> like, is there? I don't see any Pokemon. Like that market scene, you see like mm-hmm. only regular food, but you don't see like hanging. What's that Pokemon? That's a fish. Uh, like that, you magic don't carp. That. Yeah, yeah. Magic you don't yeah. see any of that. Um, Technically, you yes. Could. There's implications with like within the game that like you eat this X Y Z and stuff because they don't. Stuff. The humans don't have other domesticated animals like, to eat, right? Can yeah. I eat a Pikachu? A Is that wrong if I eat a Pikachu Probably. in that world? Probably. Probably. I mean, what? like <laughs> because it's like it's... eating a dog, and everyone's very upset. <laughs> Wait, you eat a dog. so what Pokemon can I not? Uh, can I eat? I mean, there has to be some sort of established thing I of guess what's okay, what's not okay. A lot okay. of fish are okay, I think. Okay. <laughs> a lot of fish are okay. Uh, they do have, like, the milk from the... Or right, there's, like, a cow Pokemon, okay. so you, like, take the milk. Does that um, make called... you special more? Or... No, it yeah. heals the Pokemon, oh, yeah. but it's also milk. And then there's, like, there is implications that, like, some Pokemon are, like, okay to eat, I think, in the game. Yeah, is there, like, a cow I can eat? Like, a cow Pokemon? They have to eat something. Steak? There has to be... Yeah. I know there's, like, a... There's birds. Yeah. yeah. They must eat a bird. Yeah. What do it's unclear. Eat? It's, it's unclear, very but unclear. What do the Pokemon eat? Like in Pokemon food, coffee. Pokemon food. Is it like 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 doggy chow? Yeah, like was it giblets or whatever? <laughs> yeah, I mean, kind of. It's most in the, in the the Pokemon food that we like feed the Pokemon in the games are like uh, based off of like berries or oh, potions, like that. Mm-hmm. and but they yeah. have like specific effects in battle and stuff. And yeah, but in the and then in that like how he gave him the R juice, whatever the R smoke, <laughs> the R juice. <laughs> take some, yeah. take some of this. What is that R. called? Vaping, whatever. Yeah, vaping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the Pokemon vape. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, yeah, I just and, sniffed yeah. some stuff earlier <laughs> in the alley. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. a good scene too, yeah. where he's like yelling and stuff like that. My pants are off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any more scenes that 
I like Ditto scene. That yeah. was good. That was a good like then it also like made sense mm-hmm. like plot wise like yeah. it was like coherent. Yep. So like you were saying it was, like right reminded you of Jesse. Uh mm-hmm. I wish there was like a indication of Team Rocket like behind mm-hmm. the scenes a little bit. I yeah. understand why they probably will save it for future movies like they're establishing yes. like this is probably the beginning and stuff like that. This is the universe. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, uh every region has like uh, a different uh, bad guy team. Bad guy team. Are they all rockets? Oh, so, so it's not no. rocket always. Oh, it's team okay. Rocket team. Oh god, I can't remember. Uh, Aqua and Magma, but they get always ties Wait, in. Wait, Aqua Magma is separate one or they're called like Aqua opposing Magma. teams. Uh, and all ha- suits. Or those weird type of white weird suits? kind of they're always like all in blue and red, but yeah. it always has to tie in the game with the legendary. Oh. Like in that generation, it's a Pokemon that causes never ending sea versus never ending drought, mm. and like that one is like all about weather, yeah, ending the world and stuff like that. So Global they, warming. I did the, not are know. The, are the Team Rocket and them serving ancient gods? No, like no. the wrath, like like a wrath. Type no, of thing? they're just uh, Team Rocket they're is here like the steal. most base like bad guy they steal pokemon to basically be better than other people and extort people extort people yeah uh money all that which is wrong so kids like, game yeah, for 10 like year olds of, <laughs> of but, then, but then like from there it just amps up because like after a team aqua team magma there's like team galactic which is like trying to take over the universe and like what, the go- what, take what is happening and is like literally in space I mean, like, there's like this yeah, the show. Yeah, literally, yes. literally in a game, you like, in the, a remake of one of the games, you fly a sky dragon into outer space to fight a giant alien Pokemon that's using an asteroid to come smash into Earth. Yes, oh. legit. Did he have a? Uh, did he have a helmet? The person they they, yes. they put you in like a space suit. There's a oh, oh, wow. There's a little logic, okay. but you're also flying <laughs> on a giant dragon <laughs> through the atmosphere. But um, it's just like but a, it's a legendary yeah. Pokemon. No, you're just holding on. There's no oh, saddle. Just, <laughs> just hold on. <laughs> yeah. a, can I watch this on YouTube or something? Is this a cut playthroughs? Scene? Okay. Oh yeah. yeah, you can actually watch that. That's a Delta episode. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. Yeah, oh. it's a good one. I like watching that's playthroughs. That's how I watch yes. Mortal Kombat and stuff. <laughs> yeah, like have it. you seen the have you seen bits and clips of the new Mortal Kombat? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Looks she watched good. the whole thing. No, yeah, what would you think of that? It's one? like four hours or eight hours. Yeah. It's like hell. Long. I I I liked ten better than eleven. I think so too. The the, the 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 animation was better. The story, uh, was kind of weird. I guess I don't. Yeah, know. this one was a little lazy. Mm-hmm. Like, oh shit, we have like three versions of every character. Let's just mush them all <laughs> together. Yeah, it's like we need a reason to to have different skins. In the right. Game. So yeah. let's, instead of like just having, having it like the, you know, I'm just mm-hmm. having the skins. Yeah. <laughs> they have three versions of everything. Mush it all together. Time and space. Figure it out. Yeah. The <laughs> Chronica, the Chronica girl, and then there she's part of the gods, but not. And then they yeah. rewind all back to dinosaur time. Spoilers right. for Mortal Kombat Eleven. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> but there's a dinosaur there. Huh? Yeah, there's like she's like manipulating space and time, blah blah blah, with a giant hourglass. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then now Raiden's just a dude. Because he become the trainer for a gym. That's what he's going to do. I'm trying to push <laughs> yeah. us back to Pokemon right now. It's still right. a game. Why, is, yeah. why can't I talk about this game? <laughs> Any more thoughts Pokemon on related. spoiling stuff for Pokemon? Well, are you guys eager to watch a new movie of this? Like they established this, and how would you guys feel if it's like something different? Because um, I know it so I read should be something. Yeah, so different. I read interviews. They're trying to stay away from the video game. They don't want anything about. The red character, I guess. Yeah. Whatever. I appreciate they, that. Because yeah. in the original games, it's Pokemon Red, Blue, and Green. Mm. And there's this whole mythos about this legendary trainer named Red. Mm. Which is the fir- like your first character that you play in Pokemon Red, Blue. But then it comes back in the second game as like basically the, the ultimate boss. The this ul- mysterious guy. Some dude never- in a cave who like betrayed and like, I swear I'm never going to do it again. But you have to go there and make yeah. him come out. Exactly. That yeah. Is. And he never speaks. And he never speaks. Mm. But yeah, that's that what job. they've been saying. Like they don't want to do anything. Yeah, because that would because then you're like canon and people will get upset. Yeah, you know? that makes sense. But yeah. we don't need that. What? I think they can reference like characters, especially like on the cartoon show. Like, yeah. oh, I thought they would go to like a hospital and you'll see Nurse Joy and like that over would be there. fun. I was like, I, yeah. be cool. or that police lady. I don't know her name. That looks Jenny. Like, Jenny. Yeah, Jennifer. Oh, yeah, that looks yeah, like yeah. Nurse Joy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I would be interested in something like they made Detective Pikachu because they had the IP like yeah, created so already. 
are they going to pull more from the other like tangential side game IPs? There's not a lot of other ones that there, make sense. There's yeah, Mystery Dungeon wouldn't make sense because that's talking Pokemon. In that's a just all talking Pokemon, no people. English, like they're just talking like English, regular, yeah, uh, and they're all interacting <laughs> with each other, and yeah. there's no people in that world, and that wouldn't work. That wouldn't well. work as a movie. Mm-hmm. You got to fit in the famous unless people. a person is trapped inside the cave. Not Justice, the guy, but probably a new character. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And then there's uh, Pokemon Ranger, which is like the <laughs> oh. one where it... Is like, it a you, well, it, yeah, it's kind of like your Pokemon Rangers. You're trying to uh, like... Rescue. Know, rescue Pokemon. And Power Rangers, are you talking about? <laughs> and it kind of mixes like, Pokemon with Beyblade because you have like... What? <laughs> Uh, like uh, oh, yeah. you have to like draw circles in the touch screen to try and capture the Pokemon to like oh. instead of like battling them yeah. to weaken them you like uh, try and is calm that what you're them. doing you're battling them to make them weak to yeah. and then to capture them, them. Capture them yeah. yeah or you're just battling other trainers Pokemon to gain experience now you hate this uh, thing now right mm. like you have to, <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> you like the, more you think about the morals of it's a little like Ooh. yeah I mean Detective Pikachu is not about battling so because Pikachu his Ash Pikachu doesn't go on the ball right right because yeah. he's S- Pikachu he's a stubborn character is, yeah. is that what it is yes yeah because he's sassy and how does he get rehealed and stuff it, don't, you don't take they... them take them to the hospital if but do be. they heal inside the ball or you always have to take them to the hospital uh, you always like you take them to the Pokemon Center or you give them potions and stuff. Yeah, it feels weird to give them potions. Like you're roofing them to for your own. Feel better. Yeah. <laughs> 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 kind of, kinda, yeah. But I mean, they're they don't have like diseases or anything outside of like a poison condition or frozen or burn. This is the Poke virus, which is a really cool, weird thing. Anyways. that helps you, but that's yeah. that's <laughs> whatever. Poke virus. It's like some weird inside. That's getting into the game. games. Yeah. So, no, anyways, be- the which one, is what, also what's, problematic. What's the Pokemon that you want that you would have want to see? Would have would have wanted to have seen in there come oh, to life? That's a good question. You, he he loves Rowlet, which oh, is yeah. this adorable little like owl that shoots leaves. Grass, is it really? It's a little ball, basically. Yeah. It's a grass owl, and like I have like a stuffed animal of it. Oh, oh I think I've seen that one. Yeah. yeah. He did. He didn't show up yeah. at all in the movie. You were, no. Or it was too hard. I mean, there's like 800 of them. Yeah. It's like like <laughs> tracking. Oh, I think I see that and that and that. So, I recognize the Pidgeotto right away because that's yeah. one from the the Pokemon Go. Game. I, I like yeah. when they go in the city. Like the restaurants are named after Pokemon too. Yeah. Yes. Like, oh, that's kind of cool too. Like everything's yeah. infused with Pokemon. Yeah. Some of the places are uh, like they're actually from the game as well oh like that's the cool so they yeah. Yeah. reference oh that bar right yep they went to so is that a character that serves the drinks like yeah that Ludicolo, Ludicolo. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck is yeah, that the, anyway. bar, the bartender has a ludicolo um it's not the bartender is ludicolo it's the bartender oh, so and it's, it's like a it's a duck or mariachi duck, duck. i don't even know he's mariachi with, mariachi. with, with like a lotus leaf yeah, and yeah, it like yeah. collects water yeah yeah, it's a very <laughs> bizarre one. I mean, its whole thing is like it gets stronger in the rain and all that. Yeah, oh, okay. Uses the power. You know, like pina colada and likes dancing, getting mm-hmm. caught in the rain, kind mm. of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Can he make a good pina colada? Probably. That's right. Yeah, that's all we want. <laughs> I think that's enough about Pokemon. Why? <laughs> yeah. We can do like three hours of Pokemon if you want. Yeah. I mean, we could. Yeah. <laughs> Let's uh, move on. on. So if you're back. <laughs> yeah, we, we're out of spoilers. Spoilers are no more, done. Yeah, no more spoilers for Pokemon. He, it actually says he's... he's no like, more spoilers he's for Pokemon. Partner, <laughs> partner, it says right there. Yeah. About the movie, he was the partner of Team. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yep. So let's move on. So we do have the freaking awesome list. Uh, do you guys want to add something to it? Um, This is... Uh, Weird and kind of sponsory, but a f- um, sponsory. Me, Are you? Me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. get ads. On please, <laughs> please give me some ads. Yeah. But um, using Spotify, their um, recommended for you playlist, which they kind of just you know creepily pull from what you listen to and mm. recommend you new things. I've really liked that this year and just listening to stuff on that and discovering new stuff. Is there a name for that? Because I can add that and then just. It's literally, they literally called, if you have it, called Recommended for You. They, like, make a playlist of stuff they recommend for you. I will add that, and my iPad is kind of weird, but I will remember that. Yeah, the <laughs> Recommended for You playlist from yeah. Spotify. Yes. Please give us money. <laughs> How about you, David? Do you want to add? Oh, gosh. Uh, all no pressure. S- uh, <laughs> um, the new thing that came out this year, that uh, something that's new to me. Um, 
or something. I don't know. Lizzo? <laughs> Lizzo, yes. yes. We'll do Lizzo. What is Lizzo? She is a rapper singer. Yes. Um, How do you spell Lizzo? L I Z Z O. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> so yes. I literally put that in. Yeah. Wait, why is it went to Lizzie? <laughs> Okay, Lizzo. Correct. Lizzo. Yeah. She is a fabulous singer, songwriter, flautist, rapper, twerker, rapper, all that stuff. Uh, very she... body positivity. Okay, very... I know what I album. See, yeah, I so I, I added that album to our uh, uh, family plan on the iPhone. Are you going to go see her soon, or did you see her? I thought I saw we're going to see, see her in October, and she's coming to Sac Pride as well. So yes. oh, really? cool. Yeah. yeah. Is she from here, around this area? No. Mm. Okay. That's busy. you know sometimes when someone comes to. The yeah. city. I'm like, it's oh, usually they, a tie to yeah, it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think they kind of planned it like before, like this upswing of like her fame. Is okay. Coming up. That's like, kind of cool. She really skyrocketed this year as a famous person. So Is she uh, American or is she from oh, she's American? American, yeah. American. Yeah. Good Listen stuff. to the album. It's good. Because I, I Love I, You, I think is yes. what it's called. Fun. Yeah. It's That's great. a good uh, addition. Uh, I won't ask you, Audrey, because you already added something unless you want to take out something like you want, oh, <laughs> I want to take out, out. <laughs> I want to take out yeah. Brandon Ferris out of the thing and I have put, to take one out and no no no, no, just kidding, no 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. you're like excuse me as yeah. co-host very yeah. fast and loose with this awesome yeah. list here uh, so let me run down the list I, I wrote did I discuss the list before the episode kind of, yes. I mean before yes. the episode yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. so on the list right now is dark chocolate Oreos Brandon Ferris uh, Cole Mates the nail polish Ginger ale, lemon, <laughs> Canadian dry. I did not know that's not an alcoholic drink until someone told me. That it's uh, not or it it's is? It's not an alcoholic drink. Oh, it sounds, sounds like, like one. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sierra told me it's not, but he drinks it a lot. And then I thought. <laughs> I mean, just because you it. have the tolerance doesn't mean that it's not an alcoholic <laughs> drink. Uh, <laughs> Disney overall. <laughs> uh, sure. Persona 5. Uh, yeah, Endgame good. soundtrack, uh, specifically the Portal song, uh-huh. and Spotify playlist. Uh, what is it called again? Recommended for Recommended you. Recommended for you. And Lizzo, is her album just self-titled right now? Because I Love You. Oh, Because I, I, I Love you. you. Yeah, that's the recent one, but she has other ones, and Stuff, all yeah. of them are great. So Me you sure. guys just added the first... Uh, so our list is like very like out there. It's like it's never... It's, we added like people, objects, anything. It's like anything that anyone enjoyed and stuff like that. Uh, I think you guys added the first album <laughs> to it yeah. because we and never music yeah. related music. things. To yeah, it. yeah, both of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, music related. So yeah, it's a good list. Uh, we we always have trouble with this list because uh, we mostly what do you call that? Rely on the guests to add. Because mm-hmm. my my brother and I can add a whole bunch of stuff if we wanted to, but we mostly rely on guests just adding <laughs> these. We want to, you know, have a very well-rounded list for the year. And most of the time we'll go into like the things that you guys re- recommend and we'll see it. Except Spotify because I don't have Spotify. <laughs> I have <laughs> Apple Music. <laughs> but, oh, I see how this yeah, is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, so let's end the episode. Where can we find you, Audrey? Oh, you can find me on Twitter, hold on, at uh, Richard Ayuadi. Because I'm sorry, I started watching the uh, Travel Man again. So mm. I like that's that. you actually, Richard Ayuadi. I'm married to Richard Ayuadi. Yeah, he's pretty cool. You're the part of the IT crowd. I wish. <laughs> <We're> the, <laughs> it <part>. <laughs> <gasps> the it crowd. Oh, Get it? Oh, yeah. 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 oh man. <laughs> Uh, David, where um, can you find you? I mean, you can find me on Twitter, but I don't. I don't know if you want to follow me or anything. But uh, <laughs> my <laughs> handle is Dave Matt Alex, uh-huh. all one word, lowercase, whatever, no yeah. underscores or anything. Sean Ang. Um, on Twitter, it's Shawnee Boy Sass. <laughs> on Instagram, it's Crazy underscore Violinist. And uh, I don't think I have anything else yet. So. <laughs> Yeah. I I don't think I follow you on Twitter. <laughs> I follow David. Yes. It, the, the, it's mostly reblogging. I'm waiting till I'm famous before I come up with my own content. Okay. <laughs> I'm not wasting on you guys. Yeah. And I'm not being paid for it. Why am I being funny? Right. Exactly. Nice. Uh, you can find me on the most organized Twitter feed of 20XX at Avaya Arts. Uh, you can find us on the podcast at thefreakingawesome.com. You can go on Apple and just type in uh, Apple Podcasts or Google Podcasts. Type in The Freaking Awesome. You'll find us. Uh, you can contact us at contacts at thefreakingawesome.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave us leave it there. Uh, you can check out our YouTube page at The Freaking Awesome and like it or subscribe to it. We're trying to get 100 subscribers before the end of the year if you get 100 subscribers subscribers i'm talking weird right now uh 
<laughs> yes. You can start uh, doing ads, right? Yeah, yeah. ads. And also, you can have the We URL. need money. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you can get a URL, too. That's the one thing I'm trying Ooh. to get. So, oh, nice. Because right now, it's like youtube.com slash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A whole bunch of uh, letters not related to us. Uh, but yeah, you can check us out there. And we'll end the podcast now. <laughs> I, right. I always have a hard time ending it. Uh, I'm John Abaya. I'm Audrey. I'm David. I'm Sean. And that was the freaking awesome podcast. Okay, man. <laughs> Gotta catch them all.